and thanks for tuning in in this video we are going to go over how to connect your website builder to a subdomain or a regular domain that you may have in your account uh, at godaddy.com so the first thing you're going to need to do is get your uh, information from your website builder and add it to your DNS zone file so first off you can see that I connected my website builder um, to a domain name called wsb.weconnectwebsites.com so I haven't created that subdomain yet however so we need to do that now but in order to create that subdomain we've got to get the IP address from the website builder program so let's check out how to do that now so we're gonna launch into the website builder program and uh, right on the front page of every one of these there's this IP address right here so we're gonna take that and actually copy it so I did a control C and then we're gonna take that with us back to our uh, domains page now in order to get back to your domains page many times it's easier um, to hit the back button and just go back and now you're back into your domains and you can launch and then you'll see your domain we'll click on that and we'll go to DNS zone file and now here's where you want to add that subdomain um, right here are, are where you add uh, the A record is always uh, where your main website is and then different subdomains are added underneath that so for us we're gonna actually add a record and uh, since that was the A host that you can see back here we're gonna add an A host record and the host name is gonna be what you want your subdomain to be so my subdomain in this case is WSB for website builder and then it's gonna point to and that's where we're gonna paste in that IP address that we copied of our website builder and then we're gonna click this finish button now you'll notice you get a red bar and it gives you a message that to save your changes we've saved those and now you can see we've got this WSB pointing to this IP address right here great so now that we have that let's go back to our my account screen our website builder will launch into that and we see it we have our domain name there again we'll go ahead and click the edit site button and then we'll actually be able to go ahead and click the publish button and if we go to our before we publish let's go ahead and check out what we'd see if we went to WSB dot well I was gonna copy it but uh, we connect sites.com so now we can see uh, future home of something quite cool and then let's go ahead and publish that and because we see this screen here we know that our subdomain is connected because it's a holding page because I had not published my website builder yet but now we can see I came back and I clicked publish now it says we can visit our website so let's click on that and you can see that we got WSB we connect our web uh, connect websites.com and the site is showing so we successfully published our website created that on the subdomain and this is the screen that we were looking at uh, previously let's go ahead and refresh that 
and now we can see that we're publishing our website on this page as well great so that looked like that works and uh, that is exactly how you publish a website builder to a domain or subdomain and connect it up uh, thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions uh, go ahead and post them in the comments so everybody can see them and I can answer questions and I'd be happy to do so